everyone, I'm Raw Food Chef Kaya Rivka from thelivingvision.com here on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods. Uh, this is my son Hodaya Ketrio, who you, you have probably seen in uh, numerous other videos. And we are going to be um, making a really delicious chai latte today. And I'm using, um, I hope I pronounce it correctly, da cha. Uh, tea is red robust chai, which Living Tree Community Foods carry, and um, it has a beautiful fragrance and flavor. Um, it's the tastiest red chai that I've had before, and red tea is the robust tea. Um, so I'm excited to make this for you today because I love creating creamy, frothy teas for myself. Um, and oftentimes I'll use all sorts of different types of herbal bases from nettles and oat straw. Um, I don't want you touching that, sweetie. You've got all this stuff over here, including your almond butter. <clears throat> um, yes, nettles and oat straw to um, all sorts of other herbs that I love playing with. You don't want this? Is that bothering you? Okay. Um, and I love using a uh, basis of chai. It's really easy. I love chai tea and I love chai tea lattes. Um, so this is a wonderful uh, chai for this purpose. So I've brewed a 16 ounce cup of the chai and I'm going to pour this into my blender. Would you like to help me with this or are you happy playing with raisins? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Um, so this is the easiest way to make a healthy um, homemade latte drink using any any tea you'd love. I love using healing teas and the red tea is amazing with the ginger and the cardamom and the cinnamon. Um, there's another tea from Living Tree. They have a, a white tea with shizandra berries and shizandra berries are um, an amazing herb. It's used in Chinese medicine. Um, and any healing tea base is great. And if you like drinking a black tea or a green tea, it's great as well. Um, really tasty, easy way to make a frothy, creamy drink. I have here two teaspoons of Living Tree's cashew butter, which is going to be the main element that makes it creamy. And um, I'm also adding a little honey. I have two teaspoons of our Snuggle Spoon honey. Um, I lo love the flavor of honey in my teas. This is not a lot, so it's not going to make it a very sweet honey. tea. If you like a really sweet flavor in your tea, then I would recommend adding one more teaspoon of honey. And um, then I'm also adding some chia seeds. So I'm adding some healing fats in here too. Uh, it's you know super high in the EFAs, and um, it will also create a, a, a slight thickness. Um, not really thick, but just a, um, a bit of a thicker consistency. I don't know if thick is really the right word for it, but it adds a nice consistency to the, to the tea. And then our final ingredients are just a bit of, of um, vanilla, between an eighth and a sixteenth of a teaspoon, so a, pit, a pinch. And then the other ingredient I have here is a new ingredient for Living Tree Community Foods, and that is their rice lecithin. I'm very excited about this rice lecithin. In the past, I've used uh, non-GMO soy lecithin, um, but you know, a lot of people have allergies or concerns in regards to using any type of soy, um, and my preference is not to use it as well. So this rice lecithin is going to work perfectly, and um, lecithin is a very healing food. Our bodies actually do create lecithin with enough if we're eating enough of our essential fatty acids and our, um, but adding it into your diet will only um, help your body's functioning and processes. It'll help to um, make cholesterols more soluble. Um, it helps in, um, in aiding in, in breaking down gallstones and kidney stones. Um, it also helps to dissolve fatty um, deposits so that they'll break up and move through your system more easily. So lecithin is a great food, and that was just a small portion of the benefit that that has. In our foods, it helps to emulsify the fats with the liquids. So it's doing a similar function as it will do in, in our bodies as well. So finally, I'm just going to blend it until the chia seeds are broken down and the 
cashew butter has been churned into a um, liquid with everything else. So here we go. Okay, so what you'll notice on your tea is there's going to be a really nice frothy layer on top. It's going to be wonderfully creamy and delicious. Would you like to try some? Yeah. Okay. Tell us what you think. You want me to try some? Mmm. Do you like it? You want some more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll have some more too. Okay, I'll have a little more too. It's really, really yummy. You've got all sorts of wonderful healing elements in there. Um, and if you want to add some chocolate powder to it, um, that's wonderful. I like adding cacao to my um, drink sometimes. But just as a simple um, chai latte, this is wonderful. So I you hope, are. okay, as you can see, Hody, Hody's loving it, which is wonderful. And um, hopefully you'll get a chance to try this out at home. Tell us what you think. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, I'm raw food chef Hi Rivka from thelivingvision.com here on behalf of Living Tree Community Foods with, with Hodaya Ketriel, my son, sous chef co-host, and um, he's telling us that he's eating some Hunza raisins, which are very high in iron. Um, anyhow, we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye.